Hi, this video will demonstrate uh, creating labor items in uh, System Integrator 2015. Uh, so a labor item is a item in your catalog, uh, your, your database, that you're able to add to projects. This is one of the methods for charging labor, um, the other one being on a per product basis where you've assigned that product a phase and a number of hours, and that's covered in the uh, phase video. Uh, we'll also be talking about phases during this too because phases can be assigned to labor items as well. But these actually you see as line items when you're working within the project editor uh, in building your bill of materials for a uh, project. So uh, the main reason for doing uh, or creating a labor item that every user is going to create is a programming uh, labor item. Um, that's how programming is going to get charged. So let's go ahead and um, go to start, catalog, manage labor and hit the new button um, and this will open a new labor form go ahead and fill this out uh, you have to put a manufacturer model and category in here so uh, you can use your company name uh, if you'd like it's um, because you're the one providing the labor most likely um, of course but though if it's a subcontractor you could technically put the name here now uh, keep in mind these don't appear on um, every report either um, the primary proposals in the software uh, don't show these labor items. It, it gets grouped at the end, uh, but we'll, we'll demonstrate that. So let's just model will be programming uh, category. There's only one uh, by default here, unless you've added your own. Uh, the default one being labor. Um, this one, we've added security labor as an example. So here we'll um, set labor. Uh, if you want to add a subcategory to this, you could. Um, but uh, this is pretty easy to find. You won't have a whole lot of items in your um, labor items list, most likely. Uh, it all depends on how you decide to use it. So um, we're going to create two today, this one being programming. If you want to add a description, you can. You have the short description field, long description field. Again, keep in mind, um, these don't display on most reports. But just since I'll show both reports, I'm just going to programming labor hourly just so you'll be able to differentiate that from like the model number um, now let's click the uh, price tab here so this is where you get to decide um, do you want to have a fixed uh, cost and price on this so not an hourly cost um, that's what this down here variable really is uh, hourly um, so this one we're gonna make hourly um, you can set a default labor hour here in the catalog I'll set to one uh, now you can use a specific cost and price meaning type in your cost type in your price here um, for again programming or you could use the cost and price from a phase if you like so in this case there is a phase for programming so we'll go ahead and choose that and click this radio button versus filling these in but you do have those options you can override that at any time so uh, for instance, like if your standard programming rate is $150 an hour and then it's going to be a really custom job or if it's uh, something specific you're programming and you want to charge $200 an hour, um, you could add this to a project uh, then within the project itself, click this and change the cost and the price, you know, 200 and use a specific one. Still assign the programming phase, so that's nice. Um, but that's a um, labor item. So um, go ahead and save this if you want to add an image you could you don't have to um, and we'll set up another one now well this one we'll do uh, fixed so uh, an example of using a fixed one versus like an hourly might be uh, for like a service call fee something like that so we'll just quickly do that we'll just choose again company name model number will be oops, service call uh, category again being labor um, description you know, service charge and the price tab here maybe you don't want it to be variable uh, you're gonna do fixed so you can say um, you can estimate what it costs you to send somebody out to go um, check something out say you know call it, it cost me 50 bucks to send somebody out we charge a uh, hundred dollars for a service call just simple example but um, go ahead and save and close and that's just uh, some examples of creating labor items and now I'll show you um, adding these to a project real quickly and just show how they appear on uh, proposals because that's kind of the important thing. Do you show these or do you not? Uh, here we are within a project and we'll go ahead and add um, both labor items to the project. Drag them in. Um, we'll go ahead and open one of these. So uh, once it's added to a project you can change anything that you'd like. In this case we'll say 
uh, five hours of programming, save and close. Um, now service call, I've just thrown in here as an example, it's just a fixed uh, labor item. But um, as I said earlier, uh, they don't appear on some proposals, though they're just going to get grouped with the labor that's being charged per item. And again, remember that's be, uh, phase labor, where you have, again, within a project here, here's phases that are set up with your um, rough and trim finish programming a labor rate. And then each item is assigned those. So if we open up this piece here, go to the price tab, it's assigned the finish phase, which has a labor rate and a number of hours. So this is one way of charging labor, the labor items here being the other. And uh, here's what they look like on uh, some reports. So if you look in the report list here, uh, in the proposal list, specifically this area, um, you'll see that each proposal um, name has a corresponding install price uh, proposal. So there's a proposal with images, images, install price, large images, large images, install price. And the difference between these is um, if you run, say, this just a proposal with images, you're not going to see the labor items. Um, let's go ahead and run this one here. And uh, we'll take a look. You won't actually see the, the programming, the service call in, uh, say, the body of the um, proposal here. But if you scroll to the last page, it's being grouped in here uh, with the labor for what's being charged. Now, some of this being the labor items, some of it being the labor that's being charged on each of the individual items by phase. Uh, oops, missing pricing here. That's terrible. Now, if you run the one that says install price, uh, you, you'll see that it will show the labor items. But while I'm here, I have to put a price in there. It's, you must. Go to the price tab. Let's adjust this. It says 52. I'm even leaving the um, cost blank for right now. I just want a price on that proposal. <laughs> so let's go back here to proposal with images and then proposal with images install price. We'll run this one by location. Um, just again, just to show you that this one uh, report now here will display those labor items in the body and show the pricing here and all the pricing includes the labor versus just the price of the uh, the component itself.